okay guys very quickly in this lesson lesson number two we will install our server so we will install the server from the volter panel and then we will access our server and we install apache in it so let's go very quickly let's go to volter uh, you already signed up you already have an account i already have a server so i will deploy new server very quickly now click on cloud compute uh, now you will select your region you want so i will i have uh, the traffic from all around the world so i will go with the middle so let's go with paris so it's kind of in the middle and here you will select the region here you will select the system and the version so we'll go with centos the latest version so here we will go with our plan so the difference is the memory and the bandwidth only and uh, the cpu as well and uh, the capacity so we'll go with the cheapest one so here you will enter your host name we will leave it empty so we will name it something server test let's deploy now you're gonna have to wait like three minutes or so or two minutes I will pause the video and I will get back okay let's finish our server has been deployed so let's access it let's click on it so it's better to wait for like a couple of minutes like five minutes or so but let's try to access so you will open this file you have it in the tutorial and you will replace the IP address you will copy this and you will replace it here so don't leave any space so the other orders you will just copy paste and that's it so let's open the IP you see nothing is going on so let's install our server let's access first now we will just copy the orders copy paste don't try to invent anything if you are on Mac, you don't know how to shoot this, just click command space and hit terminal. Type terminal and that's it. So we'll copy paste the orders. Uh, yes, type yes. The first time you will get this, you will type yes. Now it says the password. So the password will copy it from here. Copy. Paste, that's it. This is our server so let's update our server when it says is this okay always type yes so we have updated let's install apache this is the order yes let's wait done now let's enable the http and https in the firewall so we'll copy the orders very quickly now this will save the updates on the firewall so whenever we whenever we restart the server we don't need to open them again so let's start our apache our apache is running now so let's enable our apache so we don't need to to start apache whenever we restart the server so we'll just type this command as well just copy paste and that's it so let's refresh as you can see our server is installed everything is running we are able to access our server so for windows users i will show you how to access your server using putty we have installed it last time so you will just go to the bottom just here putty we have already installed it last time so we'll just copy the ip and you will put it here and you will open and you will type root enter and you will copy this and you will click on the right button of the mouse and you will hit enter the password has been pasted and you hit enter now you are logged in now you can execute the, com the commands 
I have shown you uh, that means if you are from Windows you don't need to type the first command to access so you will just do what I told you and you will skip this order and you will start from here I'll see you in the next lesson